Hello, my name is Jure de Vries. In this tutorial I show some tips about recording in Uperform. Some functions are specific for Uperform 5. First, you select the appropriate screen resolution. The optimal resolution should be as the smallest screen your audience use. And using it on an iPad or smaller screens, a resolution of 1024 by 768 is recommended. Sometimes you need a higher resolution, but you must be sure that your Uperform admin have the correct settings in the template to support higher resolutions. Also, do not forget to close unwanted uh, applications with pop-up messages like Outlook or, for example, here I have Snagit on. This window will be recorded as well. Um, and then you set the application to the default. In this case, I record VMware Fears for a Web Client, which is a web application. And in this case, for example, I also have unwanted toolbars. So I can close these as well. Or because it's a web application, I can also uh, use F11 to record in full screen. So that's also an option. And it's very nice when you record uh, web applications. Okay, um, actually you're done now, you can start to record by uh, putting the recording buttons, but I want to show you some advanced technologies and some functions which are specific to Uperform 5. Uh, first of all, in Uperform 5 you can use audio recording. To enable audio recording, you go to the windows first, so you open the menu, you select recording devices from the audio control panel, and you make sure that your headset or your microphone is correctly set. Instead of a headset, a better USB microphone is recommended. For example, the Samsung Meteor USB mic. Okay. Um, to turn on the audio recording, before start recording, you press this, uh, this button. And actually, you can test your microphone. You can select your device, your input device. And when you press OK, it's all set. This is a great option when a SME records a process and explains a lot of the features. However, if you want to tell a straight story, like I do now, you better can create a transcript or storyboard instead of just a record from scratch, uh, just by head. Just to mention for advanced users, there are some specific options. Uh, there is a hidden option here uh, that displays the percentage uh, of the screen uh, that should be changed before a new screenshot is displayed in the document. So this is only applying to the documents. All screenshots are recorded, but in documents this could be hidden. And if you change the percentage to a lower number, uh, more screenshots are displayed in your document usually. So it's not recommended to change this one. If you record your application and it's not recorded correctly, you can open the recorded tuning options. The panel makes it possible to disable target recognition and enable only image processing and this is for example useful when you record a vm uh, running in vmware player while your recording is not the recorder window is not running in the vmware but outside it for example on your windows machine uh, as i for example do now here if i record here the web application and it will be fine but if i record a, a virtual machine here uh, inside this window it will not be recorded correctly so then you can play with it but do it only if, uh, when you know what you do and by default have the standard options on um, some specific element which is worth to mention is the option to hide or preview the pane and to hide the toolbar uh, hiding the preview pane and hide the toolbar um, is a little bit problematic because, for example, now you cannot see, uh, in my case, uh, the recorder because this icon is not displayed. So, um, if you want to display this icon, you just click on it and you see it here. And if it's not there, you can also use the customize option. It's a Windows 7 feature where you can set all the notifications for these icons. You just go to the Ansel you perform and as you can see here it's hide the notifications but they can also show it so then it will be shown here and you can use the recorder from here as well to undo you just right click on it and 
show the toolbar and there it is and the other one is to hiding the preview window which is the middle one uh, i find it pretty useful but if your screen is a little bit uh, too small then it might be useful to hide it uh, as well okay uh, other functions uh, uh, will be displayed when i start recording so i start recording by clicking the record function and it is recording now but only only uh, you perform only record specific actions like clicking for example click on the home tab and for example i click on this button and as you can see here it's just recording everything like this um, and it will record uh, dragging typing text press a key a hoover action however is not recorded when an action is recorded you will notice this in the window and it's recommended to use visual actions. The click in the field is better than using the top, the shortcut. If you make a mistake, you can easily undo it. Or if you want uh, to have the screenshot uh, anyway, you can redo it. There's also an advanced feature to insert uh, a part of the screen. For example, in the image mode, I just click on this button. And it allows me, for example, to grab a part of the screen. And then it will be crept uh, instead of, of a normal recording. So this is also optional. In UPerform 5, there's a specific feature to enter notes. If you want to enter a note, you just click on the insert note option. You move the bubble to the spot where you want to place it because this one will also be displayed in the edit editor. This is a note. You can type in uh, something about this text uh, and move it. After recording, uh, you need to, to use the stop button. Never use the, the X to close the window because uh, not all processes and hook, uh, hooks are closed correctly then. Um, it is recommended if you do it accidentally uh, by restarting windows to make sure that all processes uh, are uh, correctly started. But normally, when you uh, just close your recorder, click on stop, and then the editor will display it. Um, the next step will be to edit the document. And in this tutorial, I only display where you can find the sound file, the new functionality. The sound file can be found by right-clicking it and edit the step, or double-click it. And then you have the audio tab. And here you can preview your audio. And it is recording now, but on. And if needed, you can replace it uh, by the browse functionality or actually delete it by just doing it this one. Uh, just to mention a cool future, but it's a new one I will explain in the next topic. It's the text to speech functionality, where actually uh, a web file or an MP3 is automatically generated uh, from the text from the script or uh, from the text from the transcript. Uh, field or from from the the, the step text in the bubble, uh, but that will be for a next uh, simulation. Okay. Um, the last thing I wanted to show you is and I have to remember where I typed in uh, some information. Oh, here it was at the end. Um, here I typed in a note. So yes, you can see it is displayed as, as a normal note uh, in your in your editor as well. And I also displayed this option, uh, which is recorded by uh, using the image uh, the image captioning uh, window. Thanks for listening. Have fun with these cool cool and advanced features of you perform.